Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's lesson is all about vegetables. So in this lesson you will learn the English words of 30 vegetables. And for a few of the vegetables I will give you both the British English and the American English word. Okay, so there are a few vegetables where the word is completely different. Asparagus. Asparagus. Artichoke. Artichoke. Broccoli. Broccoli. Cabbage. Cabbage. And there is also a different type of cabbage. And can you guess what the word is? Yes, very easy. Red cabbage. Red cabbage. And this is cauliflower. Cauliflower. And these small vegetables are called Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Okay, we often eat these at Christmas time. Here are some common vegetables that we eat in a salad. Lettuce. Lettuce. Cucumber. Cucumber. Tomato. Tomato. And be careful, this word has an irregular plural, tomatoes, and it's spelt E-S at the end. And this is a green pepper, and very easy now, this is a red pepper and a yellow pepper, okay? And yes, so red pepper, green pepper, and yellow pepper. And this is celery, celery, sweet corn, sweet corn. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's carry on. These are called mushrooms, mushrooms. And these are called, this is a potato. So this is the singular form, potato. And like tomato, we have an irregular plural. We add ES to the end, potatoes. And this is an onion, onion. And this, in British English is a chili, a chili, C H I double L. So there are two letter L's here and the letter I. This is different in American English. In American English, it is also chili. The pronunciation is the same, but there is only one letter L. Okay, chili. And these are very hot and spicy um, vegetables, okay? And this is garlic, okay? So this is garlic. And this particular part, so one segment of garlic, one piece of garlic is called a clove. So this is a clove of garlic, clove of garlic. So here we can see some more, one, to three cloves of garlic here. Okay? And these are peas, peas. Green beans, green beans. We can also sometimes call them French beans, French beans. Okay? But usually we call them green beans. And these are called leeks, 
Okay, so here we have one, two, three leaks. Now here we have a word which is very different in British English and American English. In British English, this is a courgette, courgette. But in American English, it is zucchini, zucchini. Okay, so here I've given you the pronunciation. So as you can see, very different words here. And again, in British English, this is called an aubergine, aubergine. But in American English, I don't know why, but they call this an eggplant, an eggplant. It's a very strange word because it's nothing to do with an egg or chickens. But for some strange reason, they call this an eggplant. Okay. And this is called a pumpkin, a pumpkin. And you can see in the middle of the pumpkin, there are pumpkin seeds, seeds. These are seeds, S-E-E-D-S. -E -E and this is where we often use pumpkins or when we often see them. So at Halloween, we carve pumpkins to make a scary face. So to carve something, it means we cut with a knife, okay? And we make a scary face. And root vegetables grow below the ground in the soil. So here are some examples of root vegetables. In British English, this is called a beetroot. A beetroot and in American English they call this simply a beet. These are three beets. Okay and of course a very common word these are carrots. So carrots are an example of a root vegetable. Okay this part grows below the ground in the soil. And here are some more root vegetables. The, this is called a radish. So the singular form is radish and the plural form is radishes, E-S at the end. So these are radishes. And this vegetable, this purple colored vegetable is called a turnip, a turnip. So here we have three turnips. And these are called parsnips. So the singular is parsnip and the plural is parsnips with an S. So here is a photograph of some parsnips. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Please give it a like and leave a comment if you enjoyed it. And here is, um, if you click here for information about our IELTS course.